If you're looking to teach online with Skype, then this is video for you. I've been doing it for about 20 years. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through all the key features, but also all the latest updates, including the AI. So you can see the contents on part one and part two. And if you wanna watch part two, it's on the screen now. You can click on the video or in the uh, description below, I'll also add the link. Let's get started. As always, please subscribe to the channel and really hope you like the video. So as I said in the intro, I will show you some of the brilliant features that we can use now to really make our teaching and learning more interesting. But I wanna start with the basics so you can connect with your students. So to do that here at the top, I want you to click on contacts and then I want you to click on new contact. Now to search for a contact, all you need to do is to start to write the name of the person in the window here at the top. So when you search for someone's name, at the top will come up any people that are already in your contacts and at the bottom will come, come up all the names that are connected to whatever you've searched for. And all you need to do is find the person who you want to connect with and then click on add. And what you're doing is sending them an invitation. Now I'm gonna show you in the next screen what they will see. Now, of course, another way that it could work is that someone could invite you. And this is what you're gonna see when someone invites you. And all you will need to do is click on the button here, and then that person will also become part of your contacts. So of course, you could get your students to contact you uh, and that, or invite you, and that way you can connect with them. So once you've got the people in your contacts lists, it's very, very easy to actually call someone. All you need to do is scroll down, choose the person that you wanna call, so I'm gonna come down here and search for somebody. And once you search for that person, you can just click. Now you've got two options here on the right hand side. One is if you wanna call for video, and the other one is if you wanna call just with audio. So you would click on this button here, and actually it will start ringing for that person. Now in this case, it's told me that this person is not online. Now there is one really important thing to remember just before you start. You might wanna check that your audio and video is, is connected. And let me just show you how you do that. So if you wanna connect your audio and video and just make sure that everything's connected, click up here and you wanna to go to settings and the important button you wanna come down to is audio and video. Now I'm turning on and you can see here I am on the screen. So I've got my audio on. One nice feature in Skype now is that you do have these blurs that you can use. So for example, I could change my background and choose, for example, a different type of background. You've got various options here, as you can see. So that's to check your audio, but if you scroll, sorry, your video, but also if you scroll down here, you can check that you've got the right audio. And what you can do is make sure that you've got the right microphone connected and you should see that here the lines are showing, yeah, it's, everything's working. You do have the option here of testing your audio. So you can click on here and that will also test to see if your speakers are working or your headphones are working. And again, you can click here and connect to the right headphones or the right speakers, the ones that you wanna use. So you've basically got all three here, the video, and in my case, I've only got one camera anyway, come down, you've got the uh, microphone, and again, you can ch choose the correct one, and then finally, your headphones or your speakers, and you can, again can choose the correct one. Okay, so I'm now gonna call uh, Ivona, so I click here, and hopefully she will answer. So you can see myself on the screen, I can hear that the bell's ringing, and now Ivona comes onto the screen, hopefully, Okay, so Yvonne's on the screen with me now, and Yvonne, I'm gonna press the chat button, and I'm gonna write in the chat, and I'm just gonna say hello to you, and hopefully you'll be able to do the same back. If you look at the bottom, there should be a chat button that you can click on and say hello to me. So we can see now that Yvonne has written back to me. Now also, if you notice here, I can send files to Yvonne. So I'm gonna click on this button here, and I'm gonna send her a picture of me, and I'm gonna send that to you. Yvonne, I'm gonna send you a picture. Uh -huh. Can you just tell me if you can see that picture? Yes. Okay, all right. Yvonne, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share my screen with you, okay? So I'm gonna click on screen share. You should, be, you should see this come up onto the screen. So let me just close this down. 
to make it a bit clearer. So I'm gonna close this little window here. So I'm gonna click on share screen. And then I'm, the important thing is I'm gonna click on desktop. So I'm gonna click on this one here. I'm gonna also share my audio. And I'm gonna click on share screen. Now it's really important to understand that when you share screen, you need afterwards to minimize Skype. Ivana, can you tell me what you can see on the screen? Uh, I can see your desktop. Exactly, you can see my desktop. So now if I was to, for example, click on this button here. Ivana, can you tell me what you can see on the screen now? I can see your picture. So when you want to uh, turn off screen capture, just come down to your Skype button and click back so that you're full screen. Remember you minimized and then just click on stop share and that will confirm stop sharing. That will stop the sharing. So just to go through that process again, share screen, click on button, whichever window I suggest, always share the desktop. That means that everything will be clearly visible. Click on start sharing. You may want to share the audio as well. If whatever you're going to share has got audio in it, and then remember to minimize your screen and share whatever it is, open up a PowerPoint slide or a picture. When it comes to uh, stop screen sharing, come back down again, click on the minimized image or the minimized screen, click back on it. You'll see here it says stop sharing, click on that button and confirm stop sharing. Really hope you like this video and if you do, please like it and please of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on notifications so you're updated with all the latest videos. Uh, there is a second part to this course where I'm going to look in more detail at some of the AI features that have been introduced into Skype. But what I'm going to do now is just show you some of the really useful features that you can use while you're teaching. One of them is that you can have subtitles at the bottom of the screen appearing. And the other thing is that you can send reactions and they're both really nice features. Let's take a quick look. Okay, really hope you're finding this video useful. We're going to move on now and look at some more features. One of them being the captions that you can add so you can be talking and your students can see the subtitles of what you're saying and that works in multiple languages don't forget also that in the description below is part two where I show you some of the AI features that are in Skype so let's carry on now with a few other features including the captions Ivana if you look at the bottom of the screen uh, at the bottom on the left hand side you'll see a button called captions a CC at the bottom on the left hand side of Skype, if you're full screen, you should see a button button called captions. Uh, hold on, I see. So you Yeah, you need to click on click. more. You okay. need to click on well, that, more and then the captions are there. Right, that's because you haven't you're not full screen or maybe because your captions are on the right hand side. But anyway, so click on I'm gonna do it on my end and I want you to do the same on your end. I want you to click yeah. on the captions button. And then when you click on the captions button, I want you to choose, you've got different views. I want you to choose the third view, which is show at the bottom. Can you just choose that one for me? So when you opened up yep. captions, okay. Now, yep. when I'm talking, what do you see on the screen? Uh, I can see the captions. They, exactly. Uh, Okay, so just like I can see your captions when you're talking to me, now you can see my captions, okay? Yes. Now, to turn off captions, go down to the captions button and just click it. On the on the tap captions button, when you clicked on more, just click on it again and you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go through that again. Click on captions. I'm doing the same. And yeah. then you've got to choose, you can choose the language, but we want it in English, so we'll leave it in English. Yeah. Okay, and then you've got the views, and the best one is to choose captions show on bottom. As soon as you click on that button, yeah. the captions should start on your screen. Yeah, and when you that. talk to me, do you want to just say a sentence? I can see the captions, they're showing at the bottom of the screen. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we can, we can use captions. Okay, so we turn captions off. Now notice you can also record a Skype session as well. If you want to, you can do that, okay? By clicking on this button here. Remember, captions work in multiple language. So we've covered the chat window. We've covered the share screen. Now one final thing that we're gonna cover is reactions. I'm just gonna send you a heart. Did you see that? 
Yeah. Would you like to do the same to me if you go to reactions? So again, it should yep. be at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Thank you very much, Ivana. Thank you for your help. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.